Guys, you know, there's an old adage that says, at some point, all good things come to an end. And could that really be the case for the beloved, what is known affectionately to most as the king of fragrances, Creed Aventus? Has his reign as the king of fragrances finally come to an end? Not sure. But there are definitely some signs that may indicate if we haven't come to the end yet, the end is near. Let's talk about it. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. That's right, man. We talk about both fragrances as well as fashion as well. Look, I mainly talk about fragrances, but I do throw some style tips and uh, like to provide some style advice as well because I feel like if you're going to smell good, hey, you might as well look good as well. They kind of go hand in hand. So if you're into that kind of content, Make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime I upload new content on YouTube, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys. And as I said in the intro, at some point, it's always been said that good things come to an end. And I would say if you look around and look over the course of your life, you will see that there has been a lot of good things that have had its time in the sunshine, in the spotlight, and eventually it came to an end. Hey, let's think about my Dallas Cowboys of the 1990s, the New England Patriots, uh, the 2000s with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Think about uh, the Chicago Bulls of the 1990s and one of my favorite shows of all time, Martin. I'll never forget the last episode where he walks back into his apartment and he writes, one love on the wall, signifying the end of a great era of one of my favorite shows of all time. But, as great as those things were, they came to an end. And I pose the question in the opening, has that come, has that time come for what I would still say, if you were to ask me this question, what is my favorite fragrance, without really dissecting and really looking through the collection, I would probably still say that this right here is still my favorite fragrance. But we're gonna discuss it, whether or not it's rain as king has come to an end, so I'm gonna run the intro, and when we come back, we'll get into it, and I will share my thoughts. So if you wanna see my opinion or my thoughts on this topic, guys, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. Now, the fragrance, Creed Aventus, right? This is the bottle. And again, I have about uh, maybe 40% left in this bottle at this point. Uh, again, I got this fragrance in 2018. I want to say it was in October of 2018. The batch is 17N01, which you guys know there are a lot of Creed uh, Aventus enthusiasts out there. And uh, most of them say that this is one of the kind of holy grail batches. <clears throat> now, obviously, at the time when I received this fragrance, this particular bottle, I did not know that. But I did know when I put my nose on it that uh, to me it was, uh, in my humble opinion, as good as advertised. All right. So. When I got into uh, reviewing fragrances, and my first inaugural video was uploaded uh, near the end of July in 2017. And it was not long after I started reviewing fragrances that I would hear so much about Creed Aventus. I mean, it seems like on every channel that I watched in some list or some singular review or covering some topic on this fragrance, everybody was still talking about the king of fragrances, Creed Aventus. So obviously I had to get myself a, a bottle. Um, Original Santal was the, the first Creed fragrance that I actually uh, purchased and Creed Aventus was the second Creed fragrance that I purchased. Now those two fragrances for me started a, a love affair uh, with the House of Creed. And at this point I have over uh, 20 Creed fragrances in my collection and I really do sincerely love all 20 plus fragrances. I received my bottle of Creed Aventus in 2018 as soon as I put 
uh, my nose to the bottle and it's most certainly when I actually sprayed it and it hit my skin, I became a believer. I, my opinion was that this fragrance was as good as advertised. And for a long time, uh, from 2017, uh, since that time frame, this fragrance has lived in my mind, seemingly in the minds of most people as well, as the absolute king of fragrances. Now they say that imitation is the best form of flattery and I would tend to agree with that. And if you look at this fragrance, there has been so many fragrances that have imitated Creed Aventus. The more I've looked into it, the deeper I've delved into uh, that whole idea of a clone or a fragrance that's been inspired by Creed Aventus, the closer I look at these fragrances, the more I see that although they will put you in the mindset and some of them get really close, there is still only one Creed Aventus. So why have I posed this question? Well, I've started to see and notice some things that I've looked around um, the fragrance community. Number one, if you look on a lot of channels, there's not a whole lot of people that are talking about this fragrance anymore. The second thing that I've noticed for a long time, if you guys are not in any of the uh, fragrance groups on uh, Facebook, you know, I um, strongly recommend that you get into one because not only do we talk about and share the passion of fragrances, but they do a lot of uh, selling of fragrances. Now, you have to be careful sometimes, but uh, most of the time you can ask for a legit check on people and uh, people that have done business with people before can kind of give you some, put your mind at ease about doing business with people. But anyway, for a long time since I've been in these groups, you would not see a bottle of Creed Aventus going I don't care almost what size for less than 250 to 300 bucks. And as soon as they would post about it, anybody would post about Creed Aventus within the first 10 minutes, you would see the words come across uh, the screen that it, it was sold. The fragrance has already been sold. It did not take a long time to move about on Creed Aventus. So as of late here, I've been noticing some things and I'll see a bottle of Creed Aventus for sale here and there. It just sits. There are no takers. I've seen bottles of Creed Aventus being posted and advertised for sale, and we are a month down uh, from the initial post, and it's still sitting. Nobody has jumped at the opportunity to buy a Creed Aventus, and I will say that I've been seeing it trying to be sold for prices that you would have never seen advertised for about four or five years ago. All right, we're talking about, I'm seeing 200, 180 bucks, 175 bucks for an almost full 3.3 ounce bottle of Creed Aventus and nobody is biting. So what has caused this fragrance, which again is affectionately known as the King, to have a decline in its popularity? Well, there could be a few things that could have uh, attributed to this. Number one, of course, as I stated before, let's look at the fact that it was produced in 2010. Now, I know that how most people are as consumers, we like the, the brand new thing. We like the new fragrance, the brand new release. And I thought about the fact, could it have been because it was released so long ago that people are just now tired of it? I, I could see somebody arguing that point, but ultimately I could combat that point with the fact that when I started reviewing fragrances, we have been eight years in and most fragrances don't have the type of popularity eight years later that Creed Aventus still had in 2017, 18, in that era of time, on up into about 2021, I would say. Um, so that argument can kind of be combated by the fact that it was released in 2010, and up until maybe a year and a half, two years ago, it was still extremely popular. So I will look at the second point uh, that most people would probably bring up. That point being, there are so many fragrances out now that kind of mimic the DNA. Again, whether it's an exact clone or a fragrance that just has uh, borrowed some of the elements of the DNA that are out there and available on the market. Now, to me, this point could contribute to the decline in popularity because as consumers, everybody doesn't um, or isn't, you know, uh, too happy about the fact or the whole idea of paying a lot of money, what they consider a lot of money, at least for a fragrance. So I can see that. So with the Club Day New Wind, Tenses of the World, um, fragrances like that that you can get for 30 bucks, I do believe that that whole idea of clones and inspired by fragrances has somewhat 
contributed to uh, somewhat the decline of the popularity of Creed Aventus. But my third point, I think, is probably the most um, damaging as it relates to this fragrance being looked at by most people as the king of fragrances. And that is when the company was sold a few years ago. And in my humble opinion, you had a four ounce bottle, number one, and you took that four ounce bottle and you reduced it to a 3.3 ounce bottle. And the prices on the fragrances did not change that much. I think in a lot of people's minds, that whole deal of the cost value, um, I think really uh, didn't sit well uh, with a lot of people. I mean, uh, the talk was that, you know, if you're going to uh, reduce the size of the bottle, then you may want to reduce the size of the price. And we did not really see a significant change in the price. So obviously I think that contributed. But I think most, um, the most damaging thing was the fact that in a lot of people's minds, the fragrances from the brand overall just were not what they used to be. And to me, I think that that is a victim. Uh, Creed Aventus and the fragrances from the brand of Creed have kind of been a victim of its own success. Because most fragrances, if you really look at um, the history, when you have a fragrance that comes out, usually that first or second batch is the best. And subsequently, as we go on and, uh, and rules change and regulations change on what you can and cannot put in fragrances, a lot of times those, that first or second batch is going to be, you know, the best that's ever going to be put out. I've seen a lot of fragrances really lose some of its potency and performance and things of that nature the longer it's been out as those rules kind of change and, you know, we're limited on what can be put into fragrances. But why has that been such an issue for people when it comes to the, the brand of Creed? And I think it's because when you look at the price and you look at the cost and how popular not only Creed Aventus but the brand of Creed was at some point before it was sold, I think a lot of people hold it hostage and a lot of people hold it more accountable uh, when you talk about a lack of performance. Now, I don't have many fragrances in my collection uh, that are of the 3.3 ounce variety other than the newer fragrances, but a lot of people are saying that performance is not there like it used to be. And if that's the case, because so many people hold uh, performance in such high regard, those two factors, the cost and then the performance issue once the brand's been sold, I think are the primary reasons that what most people believed and held in high regard as the king of fragrances has taken somewhat of a hit on his title. Now, guys, I will say this in, in conclusion again. If you ask me, without me really doing much thought, what my favorite fragrance is, I would still say it is right this right here. But I still refer to as the king of fragrances. This 17 in on one batch of Creed Aventus is probably my favorite fragrances. My favorite fragrance, and you guys know why. It's so versatile. Um, if you're gonna have one fragrance, it needs to be something that's a little bit more fresh. Um, because you can really get it, uh, get use out of it from the standpoint of versatility. But again, I just love the way this thing smells. And although there are a lot of fragrances out here that have mimicked this DNA, nobody has quite gotten it 100%. So it will still be my favorite fragrance. But I will say in conclusion that it has taken a hit on its popularity overall. So how do you guys feel about uh, this subject? How do you feel about this topic? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. But that's all I have for you guys today. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you're sharing those videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.